Welcome back to the channel, folks. I'm your host, Fog. Thank you for joining another episode here on Fat Old Gamers. And today, we're going to take a look at a pedestal stand. Yes, uh, I've been looking for one of these. I've got the Legends Gamer Pro, which you've seen. We've had that for a while, but uh, just really showcased the video just recently. And there's a reason for that, obviously. And this is a pedestal stand from ArcadeModUp.com. And this kind of rivals the one from the Buy stuff store in Canada. They have some that they've offered for both the Legends Gamer Pro and the Legends Gamer Mini. I believe Michael B, the G Game Genie, has actually showcased both on his channel, but I know for a fact he showcased the one for the Gamer Pro. And the Gamer Pro looked a little, and, and this is nothing against their stand, looked a little wobbly. And especially when he was playing it, like actually using it. It looks good though, it's designed well. It's got the chrome uh, T molding and everything like that. So it looks really nice. But I wanted to see if there was anything else out there. I ran across this. I've only seen Arcade Mod Up's own YouTube video on it. I haven't seen anybody else do it. So we're gonna take a look at it. It ran $179 shipped in the version that I got. And we'll talk about that after the fact in terms of cost and, and everything else. But I did pay for this. We're gonna put it together and take a look at it and see what we think. So let's check it out. All right, so I've got my magic knife here. We're gonna at least take a look at everything that comes with this in the box and then we'll start the build. So on three, one, two, three. Okay, after unpacking everything here, just taking a look at it, it was packed pretty well. Although um, this piece right here, which is the, I guess the, the <laughs> you'd almost say the nameplate it came with the uh, art, it was kind of flipped over, so it's been crumpled there and it's not holding on to here. So it might be something easy for them to replace. Yeah, just, I, I think when they applied it, it got packed in here because it was kind of shoved into like a section with like this piece, this piece, and two of those pieces over there. And when it was in there, it might have got bumped or moved around and, and the art got crumpled. So I'll see if they can send me another piece. We'll reach out to them and see what they do. But uh, yeah, it's um, overall, everything else looks pretty good. This is all decal that's applied by them. You can get the unit without this. So it actually can be just black. And that's actually a little bit cheaper of an option, but it does have the chrome T molding all the way around as well, which is a piece that I had to wait for from them. They uh, didn't have it in stock when I had ordered it and I opted to, I wanted to keep it as similar to what the, what the actual device looks like, the, you know, the Gamer Pro. So I wanted to wait for that. And overall though, everything else looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and get this put together here and we'll do it uh, in a pretty fast video format and then we'll take a look and see how it functions with the unit in there. What I can tell is with these ridges here, you, you can just drop the uh, Gamer Pro in and out with the actual pinball controls. You don't have to take those off, which is nice. So we'll see how sturdy this is when it's all put together.
Okay, folks, that is the arcade mod up pedestal multicade pedestal. This is specifically kind of printed graphics to match what the actual Legends Gamer Pro looks like. They do this, this is their own design, and this was about another, I believe it's $40. I believe you can buy the whole unit for $139.99 if you just want it black. For these graphics here, I paid $179 because I would probably never go and do that myself. I'm not going to have anything printed out, but they will work with you if you want to print something. It says on their site. The team molding is chrome. I had to wait for that. Um, you could get it in many different colors, so they seem to have other colors readily available. So this is the unit here. It actually probably needs a wipe down, but it has a nice wide base plate at the bottom. Kind of goes up. You have the pinball controls, as we talked about, on the ends. The graphics extend to the inside. And then on the back of it, you actually have an access door where you can put other items in. I wonder what we're going to put in there. But just kind of folds down like that. And then it's got a little hook at the top and clips right in. And that's basically it. I mean, the unit could be used for anything. Um, I'll show one use now. So we'll take it inside. We'll put it in front of the TV where I want it to go. And we'll see how the height and everything works out for me. I believe it's like 33 and a half inches from the floor to the top. I don't know if that adds in the Legends Gamer Pro, you know, maybe half inch or something like that that sticks up. So let's take it inside and see how it plays. All right, folks, we got the arcade mod up pedestal stand for the Legends Gamer. I'll put together with the Legends Gamer in there. The nice thing is, you know, you can just kind of lift it in and out. It's pretty easy to maneuver. It's not a t it's not too heavy as a unit. It's kind of a little awkward in the way you have to hold it, but it's actually not too bad. So what I've done here is I've got the actual control deck hooked up to the gaming PC that sits underneath this 75 inch TV. This TV is probably mounted at about five feet. It probably maxes out somewhere around like 6'10", 6'11", something like that. And I'm 6'1". So this unit stands about 36 inches high. The Legends Ultimate Arcade that I have over there with the five inch riser is about 40 and a half inches. So this is about four and a half inches shorter, but the thing about that, why I got the riser for the ultimate is because of like the way your head, your neck is positioned when you're playing, it's at an angle here, you know, obviously you can have this and you're looking basically straight on and the controls are at a, you know, kind of a normal height. So I'm pretty happy with this. This is actually not a bad little unit. It's, you know, obviously when you plug the Legends Gamer control deck into the gaming PC, it recognizes it just the same way it does through the Legends Link app or through OTG from the actual Ultimate Arcade. It sees it as a controller, like a th Xbox 360 controller. So you're pretty much set to go. You just plug it in. You might have to do some configuration, but not much at all. Just setting it up as a controller and that's about it. And then, you know, we'll just kind of go in here and check out some games. The nice thing is here, you know, again, you have just, this is a 4K TV, totally different experience. It's something that you can hide in your house. Like you could put it under your bed in some, some instances. For some folks, you could, you know, maybe shove it into a closet. It's something that maybe even could fit behind a TV. I mean, if I didn't have some accessories here, I could put it right behind the TV. It might not look the greatest, but it could sit there. And, you know, obviously I got it for just, you know, different games that I like to play on here that look really nice. But it's more for the Steam stuff than it is for in this scenario than it is for retro games. Retro games, I've kind of basically said, okay, MAME, retro games, things like that are gonna run on the Legends Ultimate. This will be for kind of the newer games from Steam. This is my Steam control deck when I wanna, you know, basically play any games that would be, actually, let's jump out of here real fast. Let's look at the original one that are, you know, basically running off of the PC directly. I wanted that, so that um, ultimately is what we've gotten here. And it looks really good. I like the layout, I think the graphics are really nice. I mean, for the little mess up on the one, it's not too noticeable on the corner, 
and overall it matches the controller exactly so i was kind of happy going with this so i paid 179 again if you didn't want the graphics on it you could get it for 139 or you could have them put other graphics on it i don't know what the exact price would be for that but they did offer that and i like that idea but i kind of like just matching it up with the uh the legends gamer i think it looks fine and it's exactly what i wanted does it fit in the room eh, with the arcade and the legends pinball yeah but you know in all honesty i will have it in here but it's actually got another um job that it's going to do another position it's going to fill so we will take a look at that in the next video we'll just play some pac-man championship edition this looks really really nice on a 4k tv although it doesn't produce it in 4k but on a you know a big screen everybody can kind of sit around and play it it looks really good the great thing is you get all your speakers from your house you know from your home audio system if you have that so you get basically the best of everything plus it's really nice and small and when it's plugged into usb it's actually charging it so i don't have to do anything there it just keeps the unit charged you could connect it via Bluetooth. My PC does not have Bluetooth, though. So there's Pac-Man. Let's jump out of this. A little bit of backing out here to do. One more. One more. Oh, we got to go in once and then go down. So the nice thing is Steam has the big picture mode. So basically, it's just like a front-end deck. Oops, I must have hit twice there. It's like a front-end deck that you can actually choose your games from. And it's a pretty reasonable way to maneuver through your Steam list. Now, you also get access to the pinball buttons with this setup as well. And we'll check that out with um, Pinball Arcade. But it does fit the pinball buttons. You don't have to worry about the flipper buttons being in the way. You can just lift the unit out. There's nothing to unscrew or anything. You just set it in and lift it out, which is really nice. And it doesn't change, like, it's sturdy that way for sure. It doesn't um, change, like, whether it's, you know, leaning or anything like that. When the unit's in and all the cam locks are done, it's pretty sturdy. It's got just a little bit of a wiggle if you push it forward, back and forth. Side to side, nothing. Just a little bit. But when you're playing with the controls, I don't feel it. So I can't really say that it's got any kind of problem with... Um, with its sturdiness. I mean, it, it seems like when you're playing the game, now having two people on here, that is a difference. We will see. I'm not 100% sure, you know, really how that'll turn out. So now we've got the table up. We'll just go ahead and play here. And yeah, we've got full, you know, nudge. And we've got our left flipper, right flipper, left, right. And, you know, you got a nice full screen. Now, I have the Legends Pinball. How often would I play this? I don't know. Maybe if a bunch of people were over, maybe they would want to play pinball. Maybe if we take this with us. Um, because it's not portable, but, you know, we have an RV. So if we were to put it in there going on some trip or something like that and to pull it out when we get to a stop, quite possibly we could hook it up to the outside TV on that and play outside and be able to have basically the same, you know, height visual height as well so that's kind of the pinball let's jump out of this one real fast and then we'll take a look at really what probably i would say 99 percent of my purchase of this was for which is actually a fight is fighting games and having it on this big screen is just like being at the arcade it's really nice and we won't take a look at our uh mortal Kombat one which is usually what i show let's take a look at ultimate uh marvel versus capcom Again, it just kind of picks it up as the controller. You don't have to do anything because it loads it in as like a 360. And this game is set up for that, so it makes it pretty simple. We'll hit that. And yeah, you get a nice selection of fighting games on Steam. There's plenty of stuff. Pretty happy about this. I'm just going to play offline. We'll just do a quick, uh, quick round. Let's see, who do we want? And that's, you know, a 4K fighting game in your house with a nice control stack control deck it's uh yeah pretty happy about this
can't wait to test it out with my son, you know, get a chance to see exactly how that plays. See if it's pretty sturdy. Again, you know, being able to do this, there's a little, little movement, not much. I'm not too concerned with this right now. This, this works out perfectly fine. The one thing I could say is they should have built the legs a little bit wider so they didn't get that because it is pretty tall. It would have been nice if, um, if it was just a, you know, super rock solid sturdy, but this is not wobbling. I mean, I'm, I don't feel it. I, I can see it if I'm, if I'm moving my hand on it, but just moving the controls, it's barely nudging it, so. But yeah, just wanted to kind of show this off. It's in a good position. Not many people have their TV mounted this high or maybe as accessible. So it might not work for everybody, but I'm pretty happy with this. Goes along with this pretty well. And then the Legends Core is also hooked up to the TV. So if we really wanted to, we could flip that on, be able to play that. But the idea was to talk more about like this and a PC connected to your TV or something like that, where you could use it in, in more of a traditional you know, arcade pedestal type design. If, if this is the only thing that I had, I didn't have the arcade altar or the Legends Ultimate or the Legends Pinball, I'd be pretty happy. The Legends Pinball is pretty nice. It's hard to get rid of. The, um, the Ultimate Arcade, I love that too, but this would suit me for the price. You know, although that's only $500 roughly at Sam's Club, here you can get these pretty cheap. Um, saw them this year, so in 2021, as cheap as $99 at Walmart. And normally you can get them on eBay for about $125 at any time of the day. And those are new sealed units. This, like I said, $140. So if you were to spend, say, $125 and $140, you'd be looking at $265, half the price of the Legends Ultimate, but basically everything that you could do with it minus the spinners it's not too bad as long as you got the tv as long as you have the pc so that's really what i wanted to show folks i hope you appreciate it hope you enjoyed it definitely give us a like let us know in the comments if you've bought one of these and if you would think about you know some kind of pedestal stand doesn't have to be this one obviously like i said there's the buy can't buy stuff from canada that one is just as fine but check out the next video i'm going to do because it's going to include this and it's going to be a project that I had put together wanting to see how much I could do in dollar wise to match something. So give us a like, definitely give us a comment, see if you like this, and then definitely give us a subscribe. We'd love to see you come back, build the community so we can talk to more folks. And again, greatly appreciate you stopping in. Thanks for watching. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.